All I've got written on the board is, hey, remember, this is the not notation that we use. What does it mean? What does it mean? There are at least two ways you could describe what number this actually is when you put something in M and you put something in R. Any takers? Any takers. What does that mean? Can we give you a clue? One of the ways has to do with this thing. Does that jog some memory? So this, of course, is Pascal's triangle, at least the beginning of it. So how does this connect to that? Like, what does this tell you about that? Anyone? Yeah, Thinner, what do you reckon? Um, the R means what number is in. OK, hold on a second. One of the numbers is how far down do you have to go down Pascal's triangle? Which number is that, though? It's actually M, which is a little confusing. Why didn't they say R is the road? But whatever, it's the convention. I'm going to stick with it because um, otherwise we'll get even more confused. This is the road that we're on. Uh, by the way, what's that row? That row up there? That's the, the zeroth row, then the first, then the second, etc. Okay. Uh, so if that's the road, what's this guy? This is, yeah, how, how far in? It's the R term in the row. Okay, so it's like, how far do you have to dig into uh, these guys over here until you get to the one you want? So as an example, what's that in NCR notation? That number right there on the end of the row. What is it? It's in the second row. And it's the zero first second term. So it's 2C2. And hopefully you remember, one of the things we looked at was NC0, any row, zero term is always equal to NCN, which is also always equal to well, 1. Okay, So we looked at that in the properties of binomial coefficients. Okay, All right, so far so good. Except, apart from actually just like, you know, drawing all the rows out, which is literally what you did. Do you guys still have your piece of cardboard, by the way? You got it there? Uh, you actually should get it out, because I'm going to refer to it very shortly. Apart from just drawing the darn thing, we have no idea what mechanism is going on underneath here that gives us whatever those numbers happen to be. Uh, you know, 615, 2015, 6, where do they come from? In particular, and this is also something you need to get out, how does this work out what NC whatever is? Um, is it drawing a big Pascal's triangle in there? Is, is all of that just put into memory? How's it going to do it? So I'm going to show you now what the definition of this is, and it requires factorial notation. Okay? Now, remember I said to you, I wasn't going to solve all the mysteries today, but I'm going to solve some big ones. One of the mysteries I'm just going to leave sitting for a moment is why this definition is what it is. You'll look at me and you'll think, what's going on there? Okay? Why is it that particular arrangement? I will answer that question in due time, but for now, here's the definition. It starts with n factorial. So that's n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, all the way down until 3, 2, 1, and then you stop. Okay? You divide that by whatever this term along is, r factorial. And there's one more thing on the bottom, another factorial. The difference between this number, the row you're on, and the number that you chose, okay? Now that's weird and it's just gonna come out of nowhere. I promise I will explain why this is what it is, but we don't quite have the machinery and the understanding to build the foundation yet. We'll get there. Let's just quickly confirm that it works. Uh, you guys have your Pascal's triangle there. Let me just draw a few more rows here. Okay, so for example, that guy right there. What is it in NCR notation? Look carefully. Row number, Four, term number three. Okay, so that should be as an example four C three. Yeah, like that's what it is in this notation. So let's just see how that works with this idea with the factorials that I've introduced. It should be four factorial on, help me out, three factorial, and then this thing will be four minus three, right? Which of course is just one. Is that okay? You see how I've just substituted in? That's all. And so I can use the techniques we looked at in uh, period zero this morning to unroll this thing and start to simplify it out without calculating the whole thing. What would I do with this numerator? 
it's four times three factorial. Yeah. Uh, I've already got a three factorial there. One factorial is just it doesn't matter. So I'll just just write one. So you've got cancel, cancel the number that you expected. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's try something a little further down. So how about here's example two. How about on the seventh row? Let's get something close to the middle. How about this guy? Okay. Now, hopefully, I mean, you should have drawn Pascal's triangle far enough that you've got this there, but let's calculate it and see how it works. Okay. Seven factorial on the top. There's the n factorial. Tell me what's on the bottom. It's going to be this number. There's r factorial. And then you might have noticed, you see, if you look at these numbers, you look at these numbers. What happens when you add them together? What do you get? The same thing. You get, well, n minus r, if you add r to that, the minus r and the plus r, they cancel, right? So you just get left with n. These guys are going to add up to n, right? So therefore, these guys should add up to 7. That's why this is 2 factorial. Is that OK? Do you remember this morning we looked at an example that was this? It didn't give that to you at random. That's one of the coefficients sitting in Pascal's triangle. right? You can work out which one it is. OK, can we quickly work this out? Up the top there, can we, can we go and do some of these steps in our head? I think this is going to leave us with a 7 times 6 on the top, once that 5 factorial is gone, I've got 2 by 1 left on the bottom. So what's that? That's 7 times 3, which is 21. Does it check out? Have you got your factorial triangle there? Sure enough, if you count along, 1, 2, 3, 4, sorry, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you get to 21. Does that make sense? 